Welcome to our division strategies flip video. Today I'm going to show you how to break down division problems. Let's start off with vocabulary. Please have out your recording sheet so you can record the vocabulary. And I want to make sure that if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask your teacher. And watch this video throughout the whole video first before we start fast forwarding and rewinding and pause and skipping over parts because it's really important to watch this video from start to finish. You can pause if you need to. Let's start with division. This is the process of breaking a number into smaller equal groups of equal amounts. Dividend. This is the number in a division problem that is to be divided or broken into equal parts. Divisor. This is the number in a division problem by which the dividend is divided. Quotient. This is the number that is the answer to a division problem. So, pause this video so you can write down your vocabulary and I'm going to move on. Let's talk about breaking down division, okay? Using that vocabulary, this number right here, this is going to be your dividend. And this number right here is going to be your divisor. And your answer is your quotient. So, I'm going to draw nine circles to break this down. So I drew nine circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And to break this down, I'm going to start counting by threes, maybe. So, this is three, six, nine, 12, and you should be counting along with me, 15, 18, 21, 24, and 27. So I'm already at 27 because I counted by threes. And then I'm going to start counting by ones. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. To find my quotient, I just count how much is in one circle. So in this one circle, it's four. And that's my answer. It's a lot easier to use your skip counting skills than it is to start drawing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. You don't want to do that. If you can use bigger numbers to help you, start off by using bigger numbers. Let's do another practice problem. Five. I'm going to draw five of these circles. One, two, three, four, five. Because 45 is being divided by five. And then I'm going to start counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Uh-oh, I kept counting by fives and I went over, so I have to erase this. I know that I can start off using fives, and then I can't keep using fives because it doesn't work. So, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now maybe I can start counting by twos because I want to keep using bigger numbers and not keep using smaller numbers and counting by one, 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 one. That takes way too long. So 25, and then I'm going to start counting by twos. So that's 27, 29, 31, 33, that gives me 35, okay? Now I'm going to start counting by ones. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So I got to the number 45. So now I need to count how much is in just one of these circles. I want just one circle because all of the circles I know equals 45, but how much is in just this one? So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
So my quotient, my answer is nine. Let's move over to this one, 97 divided by four. So I'm gonna draw four circles. And I know I can probably count by pretty big numbers. So I'm gonna start counting by 20s. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80. Then maybe I should count by twos because it's a trial and error process. So I'm gonna go 22, 24, 26, 28, sorry, it's 20, 40, 68, 82, 84, 86, 88. So right now, I am at 88. I'm going to probably start counting by ones. Or maybe I could try twos again. 88, that would be 90. 92, 94, 96. Okay, good, it worked to count by twos. But I'm only at 96. I'm supposed to get to 97. I have one left over. Do I split it up four into fourths? No. This is going to be called your remainder. So you count how much is in one circle, 20, 22, 24, with a remainder of one. Now my remainder has to be smaller than my divisor. As long as my remainder is smaller than my divisor, my problem is done and I'm good, okay? Now, if you want to know how to check division, you use the opposite, which is multiplication. So 24 times four. I know four times four is 16, carry the one. Four times two is eight, plus one is nine. And then I take my remainder and I add it. And that gives me 97. So I know that I'm correct. That's a way to check it. Multiply your quotient by your divisor, and then if you have a remainder, you can add it. Let's go back one more and let's see if it works. 5 times 9. Is that 45? Yes, it is. And there is no remainder, so I have nothing to add. 24 times 4 is 96, plus my remainder of 1 is 97. I'm good. Now, let's move on to our last problem, which is 52 divided by 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I drew 6 circles. Now, maybe I should start counting by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Then I'm going to start adding 3s. 33, 36, 30. 9. Count with me. I want you to be counting with me. I love doing all the work, but I also want you to count with me. 42. Sorry, I meant to write that as a 3. 45. 48. Okay. So now I'm at 48. So I'm gonna go 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Uh-oh, I didn't have enough to share with all my friends. So I have to take those out because the other two friends are gonna get really jealous if they don't get to share whatever I'm sharing. So that means that when I add all of this up, I have 30 when I count by fives, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 46, 47, 48. And then I have a remainder of four. My remainder is four. So in here I have five, six, seven, eight with a remainder of four. Now let's see, six times eight. What is six times eight, everybody? Because I want you to work on your back fluency so that your graphs can start to go up. Six times eight is 48. 48 plus 4, 8 plus 4 is 12, carry the 1, that's 52. So I was right. Now, I want you to watch this video as many times as you need to, and you can use multiplication to check your division. Now, I have a wonderful little pause brain break for you to watch that I love this video. I know you guys are busy posting your opinion on 
about stuff, but can you spare a moment? Let's switch cameras. I'm just a kid, but here's a few things that I know for sure. Fact! More than 2 billion people use the internet. Fact! The internet can be used for good or evil. Fact! on Instagram. Yeah. Right now, somebody's supposed to be doing something very important. But instead, they're playing Candy Crush. <laughs> Every day, people spend $600,000 on Candy Crush. Fact. There are 350 million photos uploaded to Facebook every day. Tell them my selfies. Do you know that I take a picture of myself? Keep <laughs> on Overload. Why well, man it stop sending selfies? That's apparently not fact. Ding dong! Fact. 14 million of you follow Miley Cyrus on Twitter on purpose. 14 million humans. Which leave me with some questions. How are we using the internet? How are you using the internet? And what does the fox say? What noise would an animal like the fox make if it made a noise? I like that song. That is a fact. Over 16 million Watch that. What are we doing with the internet people? I think it's time that we did something awesome. That's why I'm declaring this month of October. It's October. Every single night in the United States, nearly 600,000 people are homeless. Some of them are even kids. We want to activate 1 million people to help the homeless in their neighborhoods. And here's how. Step one. Start with a new sock drive. Do something to help the homeless in your neighborhood. We're encouraging people to start with socks. But don't stop there. Gather up other basic needs your local shelter might need. A safe repair for winter. Get everyone involved. Your schools. October. Your businesses. October. Your families. Socktober. Step two. Share how you're helping the homeless. Hashtag Socktober. Step three. We want to build a special place for homeless women in Little Rock, Arkansas. It's really cool because the land already been donated. They just need $160,000 to build it. We're all gonna, we're all gonna come together and do something huge. can't stop. We won't stop. Can't you see it's we who own the night? Can't you see it's we who about that life? Get, get this out here. Brat, give me the script. Sorry, everybody. This is to quote. A quote. We won't stop. President Truman, I think. This is sad. I'm sorry, everybody. Do the best I can. I guess what I'm just trying to say is this. Let's take back the internet and do something great. I think Socktober is gonna give the world a reason to dance. The time to be awesome is now. One month, one million people, all helping the homeless. Sounds awesome to me. Like, why do people think, oh, let's just Let's look on Instagram and see what we can eat on it. <laughs> I love my socks. My socks. <laughs> I get the really Hey, set. Why would people take pictures of food if you can even eat it there? Oh, they think, oh, we can just eat it off the phone. Let's do that. Let's just do what babies do. Eat phones and patties. I'm the man. Who are the man? I'm the man. <laughs> okay what a great video and if you can help with october that's great and if you can't i hope you enjoyed watching kid president happy flipping